These videos are now over three years old, but I'm just now finding the time to edit them into something worth sharing. I captured our eight-day travel in Seoul with my now husband and the mother-in-law to share the sights and sounds in and around the Seoul area. This is day one. We flew out of the San Francisco airport on Singapore Airlines, and we're more than pleased with the price, service, and the space for coach, which provided two inches more per seat than United. And besides, who couldn't use two more inches, right? We also got more meals, snacks, and drinks that were all included with the price of the coach ticket, which United didn't offer. To start our day one adventures, we walked out of the apartment in Gangnam and walked along Taharon Road towards exit number 12 of the subway. We found an incredible studio apartment in the heart of Gangnam from HomeAway.com, which ended up being much less than any hotel we could find, and we get the amenities of a home that hotels didn't offer. We took Line 2 from the Gangnam Station to the Seoul University of Education Station, then transferred to Line 3 and took it to the Sinsa Station, then took exit number 8 to walk along Dosandero 13 Gil to get to Garugo Seal, which in Korean means Tree Line Street. Yeah. Here, we're walking along Garugo Seal. It's not really a tourist attraction, but it does have some decent shops and a Sadabaksu, which is how you say Starbucks in Korean. This is also where it was first introduced to the H&M clothing store. How do you fit eight cars in two parking spaces? Like this. After walking around a bit, we went back to the apartment for a quick break, then from the Gangnam station we took line 2 to the Samsung station, then took exit number 5 to visit the Coex Mall. This is the outside of the Coex Mall, which is Korea's largest underground mall, which not only contains hundreds of shops and two huge food courts, it also has an aquarium and access to a casino. And oddly, only foreigners are allowed to gamble in the casinos. We visited the Kimchi Fields Museum within the Coex Mall and learned about the significant historical facts about kimchi. Since then, this museum has relocated to Incidol. In case you didn't know, there are over a hundred different types of kimchi. On the top of my personal preferences, cucumber and radish kimchi are at the top of my list, and I found that I prefer fresh kimchi if eating it by itself over the more aged and pungent kimchi. In case you're wondering, that's my husband Steven and his oma, which is mother or mom in Korean. She is originally from Korea, but has lived in the States for quite some time now. We thought it would be a good idea to treat her to a trip back to Korea. The big plus for us is that we had our own personal translator.
Just across the street from the Koex Mall is the Bongwinsa Temple, which is the head temple of the Sion Buddhism founded in 794 during the reign of King Wonsion. And yes, I am most likely pronouncing these names wrong. Most of the original buildings here and other parts of the temple were destroyed either by fires or the Korean War. Only one hall survived and continues to hold wood block carvings. This is a somewhat popular tourist attraction because you can book guided tours or even live the life of a monk for a few hours. Since this was our first day out and about, we decided to not overdo ourselves and headed back to the apartment for some rest. In all honesty, we weren't that jet lagged traveling to Seoul. It just felt like you stayed up really late the night before and just lost a few hours of sleep. After freshening up, we decided to walk the streets of Gangnam for a little bit and had some street food for dinner. <laughs> 